Today, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I got attacked by Pokemon Twitter. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I love Twitter. I can say all the crazy stuff that I say in my videos, but this time on another platform. I've met some amazing people through networking with them on there, and I've gained some new followers from there as well. Now, the thing about Twitter is, unfortunately, the algorithm sends your tweets to sometimes the wrong audience. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I got attacked by the Nuzlocke and the weirdo people that I just don't like in the Pokemon community. But let me ask some context, right? <clears throat> First of all, follow me on Twitter uh, at Gucci Conti. Link in the description. Thank you. Well, we're going to start off with a tweet that says, What Pokemon opinion got you like this? And it's a picture of May and Max in a pool full of like I guess Sharpedos. And my response, you know, you're supposed to quote tweet or reply to these type of tweets with like your hot takes, your Pokemon opinions, and all that good stuff. And my opinion just so happens to be crazy, right? Here's mine. The e experience share being permanent with the addition of experience candies is the best thing to happen to the franchise once you started hitting 700 plus Pokemon. If you're above the age 25 plus, you should not have that much time to grind every single Pokemon in the PC from scratch. Now, that's a very fair hot take. That's not even a hot take, actually. I think it's really common to have that opinion. 30,000 people seem to agree as well. Now, this tweet got 2 million impressions, meaning 2 million people have either seen the tweet and read it or seen it in passing, all that stuff. And let me tell you something. This caught the attention of the Nuzlocke slash I want my Pokemon game to be difficult people. And I want you all to know you all need help. I know I've been shitting on the Pokemon games for a while now, right? since Sword and Shield and Legends of Arceus and Scarlet and Violet, all that stuff. The last couple Pokemon games have not been the best in regards to how complete they could feel and could be. Now, the thing about this is, I don't think the experience share makes that the problem at all. I understand wanting to have the option to be able to turn off the experience share like you did next and Y, but I promise you this, none of that will help the game be harder for you. You just have to sit here and be like maybe one or two levels under the Pokemon chain you're supposed to be fighting. In Sword and Shield, you can literally start from ground zero and make your own Pokemon team from scratch and have competitive uses out of all those Pokemon in maybe 30 minutes or less, depending on what Pokemon you're trying to do. And in Scarlet and Violet, they also made it easier, especially with the raids that they have in the game as well. And so any Pokemon that you are able to get into these games, either with Pokemon Bank or just the regular vanilla games, you do not need to turn off the experience share whatsoever, especially when you're grinding a team. Now, mind you, this is my opinion, right? And so many people, I got death threats for this. I got caught the N-word in my DMs for this. Why well, am I not surprised that the huge Uber that cheats on all of his goddamn Pokemon play pieces has this type of take? You really suck, you long neck bastard. You really stink. I hate niggas like you for real. It's not my fault that I'm like 25 plus ain't got nothing to do with my life grinding these games because I got time and I'm actually a you know pro gamer while you are stuck inside making these these, these videos and it sucks. You suck, I hate you. I will always hate you. I will hate your ilk, I'll hate your kind. You remedial fuck, you disgust me. <laughs> Anyways, you trying to collab? I got slandered for having a Pokemon opinion. You people are weirdos, bro. And to be honest, I still stand by this opinion, bro. Despite being successful, Pokemon as a game is largely behind the rest of the JRPG community. And so many more people be like, oh, but Pokemon is so much more different than other RPGs. You have a set amount of characters that you play with, but it's like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. And other RPGs, you have a team of maybe like six or seven maximum players. If they're human characters, you have maybe about like four or five players that you have in the field that you need to grind up and everybody else in the background gets a little bit of experience. Cool. In Pokemon, you have literally a thousand Pokemon to choose from all from scratch. Some people do living dexes, some people shiny hunt, some people breed Pokemon, all this stuff, right? Can somebody give me a valid reason why the experience share should not be permanent? Oh, but Nick, I just want the option. It makes the game more difficult for myself. Listen, I hate to be that guy, but if you really think that turning the experience share off and forcing yourself to be one or two levels above the gym leader or whatever elite four member you're fighting, I hate to be that guy, but you're fucking trash at Pokemon. Pokemon is a type-based game. The AI is not smart at all. The only time we've gotten relatively close to a somewhat challenging AI is in Pokemon BDSP with the Elite Four. And then everybody's like, oh, but the games are much harder when we were younger. No, you were a child. You were trash when you were younger. Oh, but I would still like the option. Why? 
you know how many people said in the comments on that on that tweet where they were like oh you know as much as i would love the option i would never use the function then what the hell are you arguing for shut up it's just so crazy to me how crazy people get over this 25 year old children's game and i'm gonna be honest with you if you feel like you need to make pokemon hard for yourself to enjoy pokemon you might either not like pokemon anymore or you're probably burnt out on playing pokemon i know a lot of pokemon fans don't play anything else besides pokemon which is so weird to me but i promise you there are other games in the monster taming genre that have done pokemon better in the last six or seven years maybe 10 years since x and y came out and i mean that a hundred percent and i get it we're all attached to pokemon i am too but when i tell you i stopped having these like crazy opinions on pokemon and i stopped taking pokemon so seriously when i started playing other video games you should too but we all know what this is you're so attached to pokemon since you were a child that you seem to forget that you're an adult now and pokemon has always been for kids and maybe you just don't want to accept that you know maybe you've outgrown pokemon now i'm not talking about anything else right i'm talking about vanilla pokemon the games the merchandise the company itself pokemon right not whatever emulator you're running the games on not the speed up button you're playing with not whatever nuzlocke talents you're putting yourself through these are all optional things that the players have put onto themselves that you have all gotten accustomed to so much so that you forgot that the main reason for pokemon is to sell merchandise is to sell the anime is to sell games for children there are so many interviews where these developers are literally saying hey kids don't have time to train pokemon like that kids don't have time to play through all this uh, all this crazy stuff that we're adding to the game or whatever so we're making the games as easy as possible since x and y that has been the status quo of pokemon i understand you might not like it but you sitting here complaining all day uh harassing the developers on twitter uh wanting them to do this that and the third is just so crazy i will say though the nat deck situation was crazy because personally i feel like you know we're in a time now where all pokemon should be in the game i think you should have options to do whatever and shout out to pokemon bank for making it easier to do so right but i'm sitting here talking about the vanilla pokemon experience the single player pokemon experience did you know that if you are part of the egg breeding the shiny hunting the nuts locking the post game lovers of pokemon games you are part of the minority of people i know so many people that play pokemon casually that just press a and just collect whatever looks cool to them in that pokemon game or whatever they're accustomed to and they know and that's it they're the casual audience the people that buy the games regardless are the casual audience and you yourself person that emulates the games the person that puts a hundred hours a thousand hours into the game you are a part of a humongous minority of people these games don't sell that well compared to the rest of the pokemon company it's true it's been that way for the last decade now instead of worrying about the experience share why don't you worry about the ai that's still stupid as hell to this day imagine giving the character all these options to be good and storm through the game that's already easy mind you because you know your typings and not giving these trainers x items or their own competitive gimmicks that they themselves have in their own games why not give these trainers rare pokemon that you can only get in later portions of the game why not give these trainers the AI to know when to switch out into something that's actually useful and to hit you with super effective moves or damaging moves to kill you. Y'all are saying the experience share makes the game harder, but it doesn't. As long as you know your typings, you're fine. Now, granted, obviously, you know, damage calculating and all that stuff, cool. That's all competitive stuff. You're not getting a competitive experience out of a Pokemon game. You're not a regular single player experience. No, it's not happening. Something is wrong with you people, bruh. But you know what? I'm going to say, hey, listen, I'm going to start posting my more hot takes over on Twitter because they're giving people bans for interactions on Twitter. And so today, this is your sign to go and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Leave a like and a comment. Thank you.